In recent months, one topic has started to appear more and more often inside technology circles. It is being quietly discussed in Silicon Valley offices, private investor meetings, and closed industry forums. Until not long ago, this idea sounded like pure science fiction. Today, however, it is being talked about seriously, even inside some of the largest technology companies in the world. The topic centers on Elon Musk, a man who has already reshaped entire industries, from electric cars to private space travel. According to growing rumors, Musk may be closer than anyone expected to creating a next-generation AI chip. This chip would not be designed like today's devices. It would not be held in the hand, worn on the wrist, or placed in a pocket. Instead, it would be integrated directly into the human body, under the skin, using technology connected to Neuralink. Sources familiar with early discussions say this project is not meant to be just another gadget. Inside the company, it is described as the next major step in how humans interact with the digital world. The goal is not simply faster devices, but a completely new interface between the human brain and artificial intelligence. Several respected publications, including Bloomberg and The Wall Street Journal, have recently reported that Neuralink has rapidly increased hiring in fields like neurobiology, photonics, and visual neural systems. While these reports are careful and avoid bold claims, many experts see them as indirect confirmation that something much bigger is being developed beyond medical implants. According to people close to the project, the future chip would be very different from anything available today. It would not just send simple signals or commands. Instead, it would function as a full AI module inside the body. This system would process information in real time, connect to cloud computing, and provide constant access to artificial intelligence. One of the most striking ideas being discussed involves visual information. Instead of looking at screens, the system could project images directly to the brain's visual centers. Another version could use tiny subdermal projection systems that turn the skin of the arm or palm into a display surface. In this future, a person would see information without pulling out a phone, wearing glasses, or looking at a traditional screen. Inside Neuralink, this scenario is described as a world where information is always present, but never intrusive. A person could check data, messages, or directions instantly, simply by looking or thinking, without any visible device. This aligns closely with Musk's public statements over the years, where he has repeatedly said that smartphones are temporary tools and that screens will eventually disappear. Musk has often explained that the true future interface is not external hardware, but something built into the human experience itself. Until recently, such statements were seen as visionary talk. Today, with Neuralink's progress in real clinical trials, these ideas are beginning to feel far more real. The timing of these rumors is not random. Over the past two years, artificial intelligence development has accelerated at an extraordinary speed. At the same time, Musk controls multiple key areas that could merge into one powerful system, Neuralink works on brain interfaces, his AI company develops advanced models. Massive computing infrastructure trains these systems. Together, these pieces create a unique advantage that few others can match. Analysts at major financial institutions have started to notice this connection. Some describe the combination of AI and neural implants as a potential turning point. Similar to the moment when smartphones replaced older mobile phones, they believe this could be a sudden and unexpected shift that changes the personal technology market faster than anyone anticipates. Only a few years ago, the idea of a chip under the skin was dismissed as fantasy or even fear-based speculation. Now, because Neuralink has demonstrated real medical successes, these discussions no longer sound impossible. Instead, they feel like early planning for something that may actually happen. According to internal presentations described by insiders, the biggest opportunity and the biggest risk of this technology is its ability to replace many devices we rely on every day. Smartphones, smartwatches, wireless earbuds, fitness trackers, and even augmented reality headsets could become unnecessary if the body itself becomes the interface. This possibility explains why the world's largest technology companies are watching Neuralink very closely. Apple, Samsung, Google, and other major players are reportedly tracking every development. They understand that if such technology becomes functional, it could disrupt their entire business models. Reports suggest that Apple has maintained an internal team for years focused on analyzing the risks of neural interfaces. 
Publicly, Apple continues to support a device-based ecosystem and avoids direct involvement in human biology. Privately, however, the company appears to be aware that ignoring this area completely could be dangerous. Despite all the attention, experts agree on one important point. This is not a technology that will appear overnight. Even the most optimistic predictions suggest that a consumer version is at least five years away. Early versions would likely be limited, experimental, and restricted to small groups. There are many reasons for this slow timeline. Regulatory approval would be complex. Medical risks must be carefully studied. Ethical concerns remain unresolved. Society itself may not be ready to accept such deep integration between humans and machines. Because of this, familiar devices are not disappearing anytime soon. Experts emphasize that smartphones, smartwatches, and other personal devices will remain part of daily life for years to come. There is no immediate threat to existing technology markets. However, the way companies now think about the future has already changed. The real shift lies in how the question is being asked. It is no longer about whether such technology is possible. It is about who will be ready if it becomes real. Companies remember what happened to those who underestimated smartphones and were left behind. Elon Musk's personal history adds to this concern. Again and again, he has shown a willingness to take risks that others avoid. With Tesla, he pushed electric cars when they were seen as niche products. With SpaceX, he challenged government-dominated space programs and succeeded. According to people familiar with his thinking, Musk is following the same pattern again. First comes a radical idea, then slow public acceptance, then a rapid breakthrough that catches the market unprepared. Competitors fear not just the technology itself, but the speed at which Musk moves once he commits. Another source of tension is Musk's open belief that humans must evolve alongside artificial intelligence. He has repeatedly warned that if AI becomes far more intelligent than humans, the balance of control could be lost. In his view, the solution is not to slow AI, but to enhance humans. By integrating AI directly into the human body, Musk believes people can remain relevant in an age of super-intelligent machines. When combined with systems that understand context, predict needs, and assist decision-making in real time, this becomes more than a device. It becomes a transformation of how humans think and interact with information. Because of this, philosophers and futurists describe these developments as the beginning of the augmented human era. In this future, the line between biology and technology becomes increasingly unclear. Humans are no longer just users of tools they become part of the system itself. Officially, Neuralink continues to focus on medical goals, helping people with paralysis, neurological damage, and communication difficulties remains the company's stated mission. These efforts are real and important, and they provide valuable data and experience. However, insiders say that inside the company, medical use is only the first step. Medical implants help test the technology, gain regulatory approval, and slowly change public perception. They make the idea of chips in the body seem helpful rather than dangerous. Once society accepts this first stage, future developments could arrive much faster than expected. If even part of the current rumors turn out to be true, the impact could be enormous. Entire markets could be reshaped. New ethical debates could emerge. Power structures could shift. Even if half of the claims are exaggerated, the fact that major corporations, investors, and governments are taking the idea seriously is important. It shows that the world may be standing at the edge of another major technological change. The key question is no longer if such technology will appear, but who will control it? Who sets the rules? Who owns the systems? And who protects the rights of the people using them? Critics warn that embedding AI into the human body could increase dependence on corporations and algorithms. If access to information, assistance, and even perception depends on systems controlled by others, freedom could be affected in new ways. This debate is already dividing experts. Some see empowerment, others see risk. As real prototypes get closer, this conflict will only grow stronger. Regulation, ethics, and public trust will become just as important as engineering. Even if widespread use is still years away, the discussion has already begun. And history shows that these early discussions often shape the future as much as the technology itself. 
Once again, Elon Musk finds himself at the center of a global conversation about what comes next. A future where technology is no longer just something we use, but something that becomes part of who we are.